This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week, we are continuing our exploration of the mono colors. The first time we did this, we all built a mono white deck, each of us choosing a different commander and a different archetype. And everybody really liked that episode, so we're just going to continue with it. Um, next up, the color that we're going to all be building around is actually going to be red. So each of us have built a mono red deck. All of us have picked different commanders, and all of us are building a different strategy. So we're going to really explore what exactly uh, each color does well and what it doesn't do so well, and the different ways to take the same color in different directions. So it's going to be really, really fun. I'm really, really excited for this because it's my favorite of the mono colors. So let's start off with... Oh, uh, I was going to say Richard, but then I realized uh, Richard is not going to be here for this week or the next week and taking his place in uh, being the avatar once more of Richard and winning all the games for him on his behalf is Tom. So welcome back, Tom. Thank you for joining us. It's always great to be here. Uh... I am playing uh, a spin on, a d on this type of deck that I've always loved, uh, which is called Five Color Red, uh, which is basically when I started. I started playing in Lorwyn. I started really playing Magic in Lorwyn, and uh, the second part of those sets was Eventide and uh, Shadowmoor. And I love those sets to death. They're still some of my favorite sets of all time. And uh, what they really did awesome was they had these five uh, color. They had these uh, hybrid five mana cost cards like demigod or revenge is the most popular because it was literally in a competitive deck and uh i used to have a mono red deck that featured demigod or revenge and so the idea of this deck is that you play all those hybrid cards from shadowmore and even tide and the only basics in this deck are mountains there isn't mm -hmm. a single non base red card in this deck uh there isn't a single card i can cast that doesn't only require mountains so it is very much a mono red deck but it lets you expand into those cards like your demigods of revenge your dominus of fealties uh and your boggart ram gangs uh which i always thought was super cool and um no crackle burrs because crackle burr is still bugged on mtgo which is really sad crackle uh, burr, but what? crackle burr is one of my favorite cards of all time yeah <laughs> Uh, no crackle burrs, uh, but everything else is still in the deck, and I can't wait to try it out. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, this deck is, is going to be definitely the most unique of the pile, and probably the one that people, especially like the audience and myself, are probably going to be least uh, knowledgeable about, because... Yeah, you're, you're playing a mono red deck. All the spells that you're going to be casting, like you said, are just going to be requiring either colors or, or red. There's no need for other colors in the deck. And you, like you said, it's all mountains. Um, but that said, like you get to run all these funky hybrid cards that you wouldn't normally see in a traditional mono red deck. So this is going to be really cool. Um, and it's going to be a different style of play for sure. Oh, yeah, we've got our Nuklevees, our Den of the Fire Herds, <laughs> our uh, Wart, uh, Boggart, uh, Raid Mother. We have it all. I know uh, one of those fun. cards. <laughs> I know. It's going to be a blast. I can't wait. All right. Sounds awesome. Next up, we've got Vince. What commander did you pick? And uh, so I decided not to play the obvious stuff that I'm sure people thought I was going to play, like Parfrost and Kiki Jiki. And Felden, because no they're all stacks. very typical. <laughs> and no stacks, I'm not playing stacks, I'm not playing drama deck tribal combo either. So this week I'm playing Norin the Wary, Norin is scary. It's kind of a good stuff deck, but the primarily goal is to make a lot of creatures. Um, mm. I think I've got a bit conflicted to a deck, but I'm staring at it now, I'm like, I don't think I make as many creatures as I originally intended to. So I think as I've gone on, I've cut token generators in favour of just bit players, like fire diamonds and things. I'm mm. playing some... The cards that are arguably not so good, like I'm playing a Tibalt. I mean, it's Mono Red Week. Someone's got to play Tibalt, right? <laughs> so I'm playing Tibalt. It's the only he's chance also, he has. He's so terrible. His he's minus four is damage to someone equal to cards in hand, and no one's going to be drawing that many cards, right? Um, so yeah, I'm playing uh, Nora in the Wary. I'm playing ETB effects uh, triggers matter. I'm playing a bit of tokens, and I'm playing a few good stuff bits and bobs as well. Hmm. I've got a couple of, like combos in the deck, but I'm not really aiming to fire them off if I can. It's just more that if I see Toma going for the combo kill for the second week in a row, <laughs> then perhaps I need to combo kill faster. Who knows? It's a little bit harder um, to assemble your pieces in mono red, too. E exactly. And I also, this this was built with the help of my splices on my Patreon again. But last time that happened, they they built the, the Cataclysm 
deck. Oh no! Um, but it's nothing like oh, that. I, I, no. I told them. I told them no mass land destruction and no mass um, confusion slash chaos effects. So there's no warp worlds, no scramble verse, none of that nonsense. Because I thought this time I want a coherent deck thank that you, I don't Vince. just like. I don't just give heart, up. Because last time Tom was on as well, it wasn't even a game. I just cast Cataclysm and someone won. It was so yeah. This time it's a real deck. Uh, there's a lot of powerful red cards in here. I am playing Wheel of Fortune. I know it's slightly out of all edging on yeah, the budget, but I knew Seth was going to play it anyway. Seth so, was play it anyway. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm playing on one hand. I'm playing Wheel of Fortune. On the other hand, I'm playing Tybalt. So you know, sue me, whatever. You know, Tybalt isn't good, but I I definitely enjoyed him when I played a Squee deck, which is all about discarding. Even Madness decks is like he is he has a discard outlet. He's not yeah, a good it's, discard I, I think outlet, he's got his place, he's, like in certain decks where discard yeah. matters, like dredge. He enables dredge and yeah. and he enables um, madness and all sorts of stuff. But I just don't know if he works alongside I don't know Goblin Assault or Ib Half Heart <laughs> or you know any of these token generators. No. So there he's, you go. He's never good, even in the in the best situation. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, like you said, there's very few opportunities that we could play poor to evolve. So it's nice. It's nice that you gave him some attention this time. <laughs> All right, next up we got Seth. Uh, what commander did you pick? Uh, so I figured if you're going to make me play mono red, I'm going to actually try to kill people. So I'm playing Heartless Hitizugu, which uh, is a five mana commander that taps to deal damage to each player equal to half of that player's life total rounded down. So in theory, everyone's at 40. I play my commander. I tap it. Everyone goes down to 20 and then to 10. And to really support Heartless Hitizugu, I got a bunch of ways to kind of maximize the damage, ways to like double up damage from things, and also ways to hopefully not kill myself with my own commander, which is always the risk with Heartless Hitizugu, because it's a symmetrical effect, so it's doing it to everyone. So, ideally, I'm going to just kill everyone by tapping my commander. We'll see if it actually works. This deck is way outside of my comfort zone. Usually, I don't even care about dealing damage at all, and today I'm, like, doubling up damage and tripling up damage, so we'll see if I can actually play a deck that <laughs> that is trying to kill people rather than dirtle and draw cards. How, how are you drawing cards off uh, tapping Hidetsuku, though? Well, you're not you're not going to play your commander anyway, but do you have a lot of card draw? I guess you have Wheel of Fortune. I'm, I got I'm all the kind of wheels I could you, find. So. I got all the wheels I could find. Okay. I have some sneaky red card draw, like all the Vance's blasting cannons and okay. stolen strategy effects. So we'll see. Hopefully okay. it works out. Can okay. I just say it is incredibly bold to bring double damage effects to mono red week. <laughs> Especially I if you're I the target. I feel like I did not metagame is. this very well because everyone has a lot of damage this week, and my commander deals lots of damage to me. So chances are I just kill myself, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I feel it's just going to be a race to see who could kill themselves faster at this point. Like everybody's everybody's pulling on pulling on the aggro stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, speaking of aggro, hi, this is Tomer. I'm running Grenzo Havoc Razor which is a commander that I actually haven't played before, I'm pretty sure. Um, I did see Tom play it one time, and he looked really fun. I love these type of commanders where you basically get to use your opponent's decks as resources. It really breaks up linear uh, deck play where you're just playing your cards because every single time you bring out the deck, you're basically playing everybody's decks as well. So there's just so much variance, so many chances for like really cool, unique plays that are just unique to that game itself. So this is the type of deck that I really like. Um, I was really falling back and forth between either going Goblin Tribal or Steal Your su your Stuff Tribal. And I put it on Twitter. Uh, people picked Grenzo from, for, for one, and then they picked the sub-theme, which was Steal Your Stuff Tribal. And I started building it, and I basically got half of a deck done i was i was down like 25 cards and i just ran out of good options like i have all the typical stealer stuff stuff like stolen strategy dire fleet cap uh daredevil um itali uh, a whole bunch of them and they all made lots of sense but then you just run out of, of options in mono red and i just didn't like the deck so i went goblins I, I really wanted to play goblins. Uh, 
Goblin Tribal does a lot of cool things that you want to be doing in Grenzo anyway. You have all this go wide synergy. You have haste enablers. You have you in a way to uh, destroy artifact thanks to one of the new cards that I believe Seth uh, revealed, spoiled uh, Goblin Trash Master. So that, that that's a, a, a cool reason to go uh, goblins. Um, I don't have any combos in the deck that I'm aware of. I have no meta plays because I got a lot of a lot of uh, criticism uh, from Mono White Week. Some people loved it, some people hated it. So I, I have no like protection from red. I even took out Goblin King, which gives your creatures uh, pl goblins plus one plus one and Mountain Walk because Mountain Walk felt almost metagamey. So I made sure to like I made sure to make it as anti-meta proof as possible um and, and hopefully that makes for a fair but interesting deck where i get to go goblin tribal but i also get to play a whole bunch of cards from my opposing uh, opponent's libraries which probably are just gonna be more burn spells so we all just die faster it'd be great <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah uh deck looks sweet and with the deck intros out of the way let's hop into the game I win the dice roll, so everything is right in the world. Uh, I was going to say, I have a weird graphical glitch that I didn't win the die roll. <laughs> is that a normal MTGO bug? Should we try this on MTG Arena? How does this work? <laughs> well, I mean, the, the bad news is that I have mm -hmm. a hand without any lands, and I have 35 lands in the deck, so that's not good. 35. Same, I've got a one lander. Greedy. Also, 35 is very greedy. I have 37. How many mana box are you playing, Tomo? I, I, have, have I have a lot of I have looting effects. And mana rocks. Hmm. I have a burnished heart. So I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? Oh, are you counting nine. your mana rocks? Your ramp? Well, I'm not counting like all my. I don't have a lot of mana rocks, but I have different types of ramp spells. Like Curse of Opulence isn't a mana rock, but it still makes me mana. And Swift uh, Sword of the Animist. Uh, this hand is is acceptable. It's good I enough to get the lands. party started. Three lands. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have three lands, but everything starts at five. But I'm still going to keep it because <laughs> everything I mean, starts this, at five. It's telling this you know, be this difficult. is Mono Red Week, right? <laughs> I mean, do you want me to mulligan this six? I'm good. Let's just go for it. I've kept a two land dot. I'm wondering when we get punished. For People it. can judge me later. Judge, judge. All right, let's let's just pass. For a second, I thought that was going to be a soul ring, and I was going to yell at you immediately. <laughs> nope, no soul rings here. But apparently, statistically, if we run it, we're, we have a lower win percentage. So that is that. <laughs> is that what came out of that article today about the numbers? From... The game nights. <laughs> that was actually really interesting. Saw, is that is that because of politics? Parts. Then is it? Do you think people target the turn one soul player more? I I think so, yeah. and it's also like I I think I've always had the opinion that's not not uh, held back with with data. That basically a soul ring just makes better decks better. So, like, I think your your soul ring gets exponentially better the more powerful your entire deck is. Because if decks like want to sure, win like turn sure. four or five, then soul ring is going to help enable that a lot more. So the win percentage there is going to be higher than a, an average sort of deck where it's just like a fancy rampant growth or something like that. Mm. And yeah, people do should do and should focus the person who has the early lead so it kind of balances well, out yeah the other thing is that i mean the majority of soul rings are in the majority of beginner decks uh because they're from straight out of the packaging every single deck has soul ring hmm. so you have as far as your data people not playing soul rings are more likely not to be playing beginner type decks mm -hmm. and so you are still getting that value of people playing more basic decks versus more complicated decks and then also it has the, yeah, probably the largest share among all decks anyway so oh uh, commander already Oh my look god! Out, look out. Oh, it's gone. Isn't that, it's gone, wait, guys. It's I got rid of it. He's, oh. This is the Halloween themed commander. I think it'll be too late, but he's he's scared, so he's like, he's like the survivor in a horror movie. <laughs> that would have been mm. so good for better people. Well, I was think I was thinking of doing a Norin video for my channel for tomorrow, but I might not because it kind of gives the deck away before the Commander Clash episode. I think that's kind of mm. a bit lame. Uh, Norin is one of the sweetest creatures. It's just so unique. Yeah, I love him. It was good. I have the yeah, I have the best beard and magic in my hand right now. I'll tell you that. <laughs> We've seen Norin. I'm playing it next turn too. Oh. Shout out to Rob what as well, my, my co-host from my stream. He he's a massive Norin fan. He plays like Norin Sisters sometimes in Modern, and I I got him a Korean Norin. I think it was like um, a little while ago as a present, like his birthday or something. I can't remember what it was, but well, yeah, I love Norin. Norin's so unique. We saw him also twice in Commander Clash, and both memories have been seared into my brain. First time was Chaos with Jake. 
Oh no! Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I think I blocked that week out. <laughs> and every time, every time I have, I, I play red in this in Commando Clash. I seem to have Genesis Chamber in my opening hand. It's a good card. Um, so yeah, we're all gonna get loads of one ones. <laughs> uh, especially you with your Norin. Yes, especially me. That's a combo. Someone should blow that up. Uh... Oh come off it, Seth! <laughs> are you just scared modern... that when you when you double there's the damage next. when there's you double the damage all the mirror? <laughs> There's modern decks that are built around that synergy. <laughs> That's a like legit thing to do, just Norn and Genesis Chamber. I will say yep. I'm definitely packing Ingot Chewer in this deck. I was trying to figure out, like, should I run less artifacts than normal? Because everyone probably has... Know, goblin Lackey? lackey. That's, that's a legitimate legacy deck. It's oh a, my god. It's a Goblin card. This is not it good. Is. Oh my. Is this going to be a Siege... Is this going to be Goblin Siege and Commander next turn? Oh, I wish. Or like Krenko. Uh, I, I think isn't Siege Gang five mana? Yeah, but Goblin mm -hmm. Lackey doesn't care about mana. Goblin Lackey does not care oh, about mana. That's yeah, very accurate. That is true. You see, I played these. <laughs> I, I definitely played these uh, <laughs> beforehand. So the, the <laughs> other one, the du the double striking one in Legacy, oh, when you hit the first strike and go get Goblin Matron, right. and then trigger Matron and go and find the Goblin you want to put in with the second strike, it is it is a good feeling. It is a very <laughs> good feeling. Clearly, best bearded magic coming down. I love gobos. I don't like all path. these blockers like that's happening the here. Blockers best, is wonderful. The best what, Tom? The uh, best bearded magic for sure. Oh, that just that a... big old bushy, ready to go beard. It's like, it's like Father <laughs> Christmas over there, isn't it? Mm. Right, that is that is Santa. Around. What he does during the summertime. Right. Let's play a new magic card. Hey, hey. that's a good card. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty that. good. I run that. <laughs> Regrets. So Seth, why don't you have any blockers yet? Ah, uh, Vince, I wouldn't attack me. <laughs> why? Why not? Hey Vince, lightning bolt. Hey Vince, I can convince you in three words. Field of ruin. Oh, guild of ruin. <laughs> the flashbacks. Vince, Vince. Ah, oh. Seth, you have no blockers. It's mono red week. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> he has a point. These all are right, all well, correctly. I I also have a point. Nine. No! Oh, wow. <laughs> I love you, Felden. Uh, you big old two three. Uh, My runaway steamkin. No. Yeah. And Lackey. It's okay. This Get is out of here. Norn's alive. The worst. I mean, that's fine. Lackey dying is actually great. I am not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to wait until Tomer played more things, but that's rude. Oh, oh man, I had Genesis a better Chamber line is that. so good with Norn. I want you to attack with the lackey and be really excited about putting a big goblin into play and then be like, ha ha, Starstorm for one. That's, that's Why didn't you tell me I wouldn't have attacked? That's hurtful. Um, that's just no point. They all would have died anyway, wouldn't they? Yeah, they, they would have. It, Vince is making a mirror token every single person's turn. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, he is. as long as you cast spells. Chamber. Or attack. Oh yeah, yeah, that too. If you do anything. If you do anything on your turn. Well, to if be you fair, have my six, it doesn't happen. I think I'm going to have a really fun spell for all of us next turn, I think. Ooh, are we getting yeah. yield? Fun. No, no, it's a fun spell for everyone unless you play a Furnace of Wrath, Seth, because that would be really bad for you. Uh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I swear if you're playing Mana Bonds, I'm just going to... No, 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 I'm not playing any Punisher effects. That was the other deck that I brainstormed with those <laughs> of the Punisher, but I thought that was too extreme. <laughs> I'm just going to be conservative and... Uh, My hand is way too fun to have to deal with that kind of stuff right now. Yeah, I, mean, I really I mean, want to uh, see what you have in your hand. I just need to draw land that I can get well, there, you know, three turns from advances now. Blasting Cannon. Ooh. Ooh. Hey! I'm the best at magic. I don't know if you knew this. Did he top deck Just lands? land directly on time. Woo! This oh, boy. Ooh, into oh, more lands. Wish, wish I, I know. Some. It's Genesis Chamber. It's getting out of control. It's really good. It's, it's good for everyone. With those matching basics. Do I attack with the Felden is a good question. Um, is there any downside to attack with Felden? If someone, well, if someone kills your Solon this turn... Oh, no, you got no mana. Ignore me. You know, Tomer, mm. I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> and neither has Felden. He's going to slap you in the face. Aww, is that because of the, yeah. the, the Santa comment? Yeah! Oh. Sure. Uh, all right. I guess I got to get in on this mirror action. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. And you get it. Oh, oh no, wow! It comes into play first. Okay, now that's really good. That's that, filthy. That's really good with Genesis Chamber. 
God, I forgot how much I love Ogre Battle Driver. These, oh my God. I'm realizing a lot of my favorite cards are red. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Such a new thing for me. Uh, oh, it's got haste as well. Vomit. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attack. I'd rather jump block. I think. So the card in my hand I now can't cast because it's absolutely hideous for Ogre Battle Driver. Oh, does it give everyone something? Yes. yes I mean, does. I can't attack on my turn though. Like, sure, That's my true. stuff gets haste, but unless unless it's something that gives extra tokens to everybody on each person's turn. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Is there is that a thing? This Genesis Chamber. I'm not a fan. <laughs> right of the Raging Storm. There's some weird mono red token makers. The thing about all spells being so cheap in red is that you get lots of choices in your turn. You're not waiting 15 turns to cast something that you do in other decks. God, you would think my hand is hilarious then. <laughs> it, was like it is mono six drops. Options. It's everywhere. just mono. It's mono five color five drops. It's Seth, are we best. friends? Yes. Yes, oh, yes, no. yes, of course. No. Okay, here it the is best. then, guys. Enjoy. Oh. oh, I'm fine with this. this Whenever is a creature enters anybody. the battlefield, it's, oh, hmm. yeah, my things are. Bad. Oh no, this was a bad idea. Yeah, your oh, is gone. this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> oh, I mean, no. Seth gets to lightning bolt people. You should probably kill Felden. I can't kill Felden. I can't do. I can't get to do two damage. It's a two three. Don't you get Norin and Amir though? Yeah, but that's only two damage. It's a two three. Oh, Norin's a two one. When did Norin become a two one? <laughs> yeah, it's a Savannah Lions. What? Oh, wow. Or you could also just kill the Ogre Battle Driver right now as well. But we're friends. Uh, we already determined I, that. Uh, I did no. ask if we were friends. Toma, what do you think should die? Because there's three creatures that can die here. Not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm but... glad you said that. I could have got very confused. <laughs> is it the Ogre Battle Driver or is it the Felden, Toma? I mean, Felden doesn't have anything to recur right now. So I'd be more afraid of the Battle Driver at the current moment. Just because of its synergy with Pandemonium. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the battle, uh, battle driver. Boo. It was a diplomatic discussion. Democracy <laughs> always wins, so. Democracy at its finest. This is pretty gross, though. Yeah, everything's gonna die. Well, it's Mono Red Week. This is what it should look like, right? <laughs> That's, that is Because everyone, everyone can make a mirror and use their mirror to kill my mirror. Then I use my mirror to kill their mirror. That's and then everyone's even. To, to oh, Siege up. Gang. That's like a wrath. It is like a wrath. What? Kind of. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. If you want to leave my mirror alone, Tomo, I won't kill Carrie's Ev. How's that? I mean, have fun. You, oh my goodness. <laughs> You're going to kill my mirror? Tomer. <laughs> hey, well, like... Guys, everything on my screen is gr glowing green. So, same. I'm going to make <laughs> Three tokens, so I can do Siege Gang, one token, kill Felden, and then kill Sesmir, kill other Mir, and that should be enough. And then I can attack. And... Well, you also get the you get the chamber token as well, <clears throat> don't forget. Oh, wow, so you get six damage out of this. Yeah, six damage out of this. And you get two damage from carries of. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can Adamonium. literally, like, wrath the board, I think. Or you could just eight someone's face. Also true. That is All also these are something you really interesting options. Oh man, Pandemonium's gonna get... This we might have a very crazy. short first nasty. game, right? How many games mm. can we fit into Mono Red Week? Like five? <laughs> uh, they they yeah, might be like quick Mono ones. I think Felden is the only one that made Aww, the most goodbye, sense. Goodbye, Felden. Um, and then I'm gonna start killing tokens. Goodbye, Felden. Oh, I've, I've, nice. I've f 6 but I still have to put all the Pandemonium triggers on the stack. This is really frustrating. <laughs> Choose. I need to choose that's why more you need targets. F8. Oh, is it F8? Will that fix it? Let's try. Uh, that's working for me. No, I wonder if it's targets. because he controls the pandemonium, yeah, though. They, they are my oh, yeah, there. no, yeah, these are your triggers. Never mind. This is all on you, my friend. Did I do it right? Oh, they're using the new hardcore goblins. Ooh. Yeah, it that's depends on no, the Dominaria goblins. Yeah, I think yeah. if you had a non Dominaria version of Siege Gang, it'd be the old tokens. I think it's to do with which mm -hmm. version you use. Ooh. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Oh. I should attack. She has Menace, so I'm sending that at you. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to send the monkey at Seth. <laughs> I'm at 34. Why I... me? Why me? Well, I... It's too late. It's uh, clearly already happening. Yeah. You can, you can right, shoot me wait. if you like, because then that gives me an excuse to kill the Siege Gang, because it kind of needs to die. You're going to kill it anyway. That's the only right choice right here. I mean, well, you could also yes. kill the Kari, too. I don't really care. Like, you're going to be pinging 
down my only stuff. Every, I'm everything only... is going to be dealt yeah, two I'm damage. Just gonna kill Three him damage at the end of every turn. He just has <clears throat> to throw around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't I'm gonna blow up one in the mirror. I, I, I'm assuming the siege gang is gonna die, and the car is gonna siege die. Siege gang has siege gang has to die. Yeah, because otherwise you untap and, and you have so much damage on board. I think this is literally the best possible Felden start. Like Norin, you mean? Or? Norin, Norin sorry, yeah. yeah. No, Norin into Genesis into Pandemonium. Remember, like I mean, if would, it was if instead of Pandemonium, if it was like Impact Tremors or Perforce, I guess. And what's the other one? I played, one. I played. I played. Uh, I played Norin the Wary, Genesis Chamber into a Perforos, and then that was a very quick win. It seems like yeah. Pandemonium's just like better than Perforos because you can kill creatures, or uh, no? But but it's no, but it lets everyone else pass. ping stuff as well, so. Pandemonium allows other people to shoot you, so they can shoot yeah. your creatures and stuff. Yeah, yeah I guess so that's there, is a, there is a legitimate downside. Also, Perforos just, instead of just killing people's creatures, you just kill them. It's very efficient. Mm. What is going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because just Norin the Wary is just doing his thing. Yeah, Norin just so, keeps killing. I'm going to play what a... Is what is this? I'm going to play a Deus of Calamity. Ooh. Oh, Pandemonium what? has very specific wording where the creature gets to deal the damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. That is. That so is I'm gonna brutal. have that dealt straight to Vince's face. Okay. Oh wow. Uh, and then you should sacrifice a land. Oh, I get to destroy the land. That's cool. pretty good. So, I know, right? So I'm we're not get rid of this fancy mountain. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> well, we were friends in the first place. Get out of here. I'm gonna just uh, get rid of a mirror. Wow. Okay. How is first thing in three damage at the end of every single turn. I I I'm I see. I see where your allegiances lie. How has no one found hey, artifact destruction? Yeah, question: on, on How many people That's are running question. removal this week? Because I'm low this week. I'm generally good, but I do There's have. There's like removal a... on the board. Everyone's got pandemonium. Yeah, but what about artifact and enchantment? Exactly. <laughs> I already saw the board once. Yeah, Vince just deals like an extra twelve damage a turn right now because of pandemonium. Chamber. Well, it's <clears> it's now gonna be all at Tom on the upside. Oh, the the goblin, the oh, the, the, the kobolds don't make any damage. <laughs> Oh, that makes they sense. deal. They deal zero damage though. But if you fell them back on Ogre Battle Driver, well, what is this life gain? Get out of here! It's a mono <laughs> wow. Meta game comment Meta section. Game. Tear seven new one. It's gain one life. <laughs> I have one card in my deck that gains life, and it's probably much worse than that if I'm honest. Actually, did anybody my... run the the like the scepter the whenever but anybody casts a red spell you gain. <laughs> I consider I consider dragon's claw but I thought it wasn't worth it in the end. My commander I mean, does I like, like life gain. Two mana and a card to get that effect probably is worth it if you cast it early. Well, this has been the worst experience. I'm already at 32. Well, you blew up a land, so Yeah, I did. Mm. On purpose. Goblin rabble it's, map. So, it's something I learned from you. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Rabbles. Rabble, rabble. Oh my god, this is the dumbest thing, is Pandemonium. Jesus. It is really good, isn't it? It's very good. There's just six mirrors. We have no enchantment removal. Ugh. No, welcome to Mono Red. Well, right? I mean, I have, I have Chaos Warp, and I have another card to get rid of uh, enchantments, but like that's only two cards. I don't want to fire this all at one person, but like, that Deuce of Calamity is being a, <laughs> is being a douche. He's and it's going to come at boy. And it's, it's going to come at me. Deuce. It's being a deuce. A deuce of calamity. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That's literally his job. <laughs> <laughs> a calamitous sized. Oh, yeah. Is it Deus? It's Deus, isn't it, actually? Because it's Latin yeah. for God, right? Mm hmm. Not actually deuce, but I always pronounce it deuce. Cause like Deus X. I'm... Deus? Deus X? I mean, when, when you no. played Pandemonium, there was no way I wasn't casting this card. It's oh, I, I completely understand, but I'm not, I'm not happy yeah. about my lands getting blown up. What sort of a monster plays a land destruction in Commander? Uh, how much damage have you taken? I never Is knew that. Like, so most I think you can. You can like definitely script. fire off Spine Rock Null. <laughs> no wait, can you? I don't. Uh, you might. Three, it might be six. Five, six Is it six seven. or seven? What six? It's only been six because oh. the Goblin hit you instead of me. Oh dear. All right. Well, no Spine Rock Null yet. I mean, you can activate it. it. Nothing happens. Come on. Oh. I mean, it's actually pretty decent. Hey, Tomer. What? I wouldn't cast anything with two or less toughness. Oh, no, I just yeah. wouldn't I'm, do no, that I'm if I were you. the thing that I just uh, exiled. Yeah, Tom's going to oh. raft the board and attack me with the deuce. Yep, 
hundred percent doing that. Where is all the? Oh man, why is everyone hit for six? Come on, someone hit for seven so I can activate the spine rock knoll. Well, I'm gonna I, hit for more um, than six because I can hit oh, you maybe. for more. Than no, six. no, it has to be an opponent, <laughs> an opponent, an opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. I don't even know what's like a a good attack here. To be honest, I can start whittling down some of Vince's. Well, no, I'm losing my board on Tom's turn, so you might as well attack Tom or or Seth. I got three mana up, so. You know I, what happened last time. Like all the carries ev won't die because he says he's doing two damage, didn't uh, he? So if you are wiping the board, there's no point in whittling down Vince's creature, so I should attack she, elsewhere. She should attack Tom. I mean I could also just so low. not do that and just let Vince win if I want. Oh. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there's blood in the water, right? Um, Tom is Tom, Tom is injured right if now. If I don't attack you, can you not attack me with this? Oh, for sure. I'm definitely. Toma, that's not even on the cards. Kidding? He's attacking me. It's really open. Oh, but. Oh. Well, I'm just attacking Seth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Poor Seth. Jeez. Oh, well, you gotta love mono red wheat. I, could, I can't attack Vince because. Oh, Seth. Yeah, does that fire yeah, up? Yes. I can Seth, attack. Does that... I can attack Tom, but then I'm, I'm afraid that he'd, he'd get angry at me and then he'd attack me with the deuce. And then... <sighs> that's true. I would do that. Um, it's not like I'm not attacking because my creature. I like the way we're all calling it Deuce now. Yeah, as well. just 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 attack me. That's fine. And then Seth, I do think it's Spine Deuce rock. for the record. I feel I feel some level of guilt. How about that, Seth? I can't Spine That's Rock because no one no one deals no, seven damage to opponents. You're about to take our opponents. Yeah, it can't be. I I wish I could oh. just take seven damage. You'll, if it, you'll be able to Spine Rock. If on it my makes turn. you right. feel better, Seth, I'm not targeting you with the Pandemonium. I'm going to target Vince because he's at the highest life total. Aw. Well, I guess that makes wow. taking some ungodly so amount of you're combat at the damage highest worth life it. Total. I mean, outside of me, I'm not going to pandemonium myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm There's... losing a land every turn, so I don't know if my it's life total needs to be whittled down. Well, it depends uh, if the creatures we... are getting wiped. Yeah. Do we want to oh, wheel, are. or do we want to deal forward of Vince's face? What would be more appropriate for everybody's hand? Ooh, uh, I'm down for wheeling. Not, not like draw seven, <laughs> like just exchange your cards in hand. Oh, I would get four again? Yeah. Oh, that's less exciting. Okay. Cool. Four to Vince's face it is. Wow, Tom. Is this like a wow. shot? I'm just talking about my incendiary command in hand. It's oh. easy. There's no mono red counter spells. I'm pretty safe in talking about this. Um, no, no, I was saying wow about the antagonism towards me. I'm just playing I'm just playing Norin over here with cards that I could with Norin. You have the best start of any deck I've seen in a very long time. I, I don't agree with that statement, but sure. All right. Let's that makes me feel I'm just better. happy I'm not in a feud this week. <laughs> hey, Seth, how are you doing? Uh, oh, I, mean, well, I did ooh, attack you down the Better before you just so. attacked me last turn. All right, so we have a feud here. That's good. That's healthy. I th and the question is whether or not this is even good enough to stop this madness. The funny thing is, is I was going to say, I think Vince is still, even with two yeah. lands, with Norin and Genesis I don't Chamber, know. it's still pretty good. <laughs> Like I'll kill, I don't know I'll, if he can win the game now. There's a good chance I, I can definitely kill Tom, don't think I but... live through this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can still kill me, but I don't think you get to win the game now. I think Tomer's closest to winning the game. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing pretty okay right now. Haha. -ha. Well, that's a yes. You've activated <laughs> yeah, you my spine activate rock knoll. I have. Did you? It was oh. only six. I really hope it's a wheel. Does That'd it nice. does it deal with this juice of calamity? No, it's just I uh, I incendiary commanded. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's just oh. advances. Oh, 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 I want to draw and cards. And classic cannons. I had that same card in my deck. I don't like that it it whiffs on lands. That's the one thing that Outpost Siege has over it. Also, Outpost Siege could be mm -hmm. a finisher, but I, I have mean, Outpost Siege too. Yeah. Do you have Mind's Eye? Yes, of your course. favorite card. Uh, Did you not play it? <laughs> I'm not running I'm playing it as I well. Better things. Just, I just want to upset Toma with my copy. That was the only reason. <laughs> it's not. It's not a terrible card. It's very narrow card. I would. I would run it in like mono green ramp, a hundred percent. But in this deck, there's no reason why I would run this. In hmm. this deck, because like look, Vanquisher's deck. Banner. I'm drawing cards off uh, Goblins. It's turn six, and everybody is pretty close to under twenty, except for Tomer. As things should be. <laughs> I mean, I, I wish I could spread my damage around, but I've got... Oh, yeah, no, you definitely cannot. I've got yeah. Captain <clears throat> Deuce of Calamity over here. Yeah, love this guy. Welcome to how this deck was No, I was, just, I, was calling you a, <laughs> I was calling you a Deuce of Calamity. Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be the guy of Calamity. I'm in. Let's put that as my official tagline from now on instead of MTG Radio. Sip, sipping on Juice of Calamity. <laughs> sipping on Gin and Deuce. 
I never knew that Norn was a 2-1. My life has yeah, been shattered. I didn't either. I've never had Pandemonium in play with him before. Oh, the card I drew was really good if I get to have mana next turn, which I don't, so I'm going to have to make a <laughs> mana door. Okay. okay. That's the thing oh, I'm most surprised by. <laughs> That's that is probably, probably gonna... not the best card with Pandemonium. Pr- yes, I was going to say, there's a high chance that Genesis Chamber Pandemonium will deal with that. Yeah, I know. But, but I mean, the other card does nothing with yeah. no mana either. So. Yeah, might as well. Might as well run it out. Might as well. I, I mean, Toma, we can make an agreement here where we kill Tom. I mean, Unless... I'm I'm staying out of this feud. I'm going to be attacking. <laughs> oh my god. Well, hmm. <laughs> it seems safer. I don't know what to tell you. I though. got lots of mana up, Tomer. <laughs> well, I don't want to attack Tom because I don't want that dude coming at me. I no, because Tom man. will die. Think about it. I'm going to do three damage to an end step. I'm going to do three damage from your turn. That's six. If I attack him with two mirrors, that's eight. If you attack him with carries Evan target, that's how much? Eight plus or five is 13. That'll leave him on one. Option. We can just kill Vince and all this bad stuff goes away. Well, that's also when Vince dies, yeah. Pandemonium dies with him. Yep. As is Norin. And wow. That's like the only way to kill Norin. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I it would, really is. It, it pretty much is. Oh, I should have just played a bad commander from the dark and then this wouldn't happen. <laughs> Norin's not even like good. I think you've just gotten I, I know, you've, you've I drawn know. your very synergistic cards, I think, this yeah, game. Yeah, you've gotten the you have gotten the best Norin start I've seen in a long time. Which is what which is awesome to show like viewers, like this is the cool thing. It's not Norin awesome. It's not awesome because only fifty percent of those viewers will appreciate it. The other fifty percent will be very angry. <laughs> No, I don't think anybody's going to be upset right yeah. now. At least there's oh, no they're, chaos they're, they're, they'll be upset I, I, that we killed definitely. Vince early. No, no, so half of them will be upset that he killed me earlier. The other half are like, good, get that spike. Get him. <laughs> well, honestly, like, I think that's this is not a spiky deck. It's a super synergistic deck. It's the same thing if you're playing Edric and you get, like, Flying Men turn one and you then go with, like, uh, Which is Thorn Lieutenant turn two. Like, and you just keep attacking. It's the same thing. It's just a really cool version of a really cool deck. Hey, I think this deck hey is so viewers, cool. do you want to see me play Edric next week? No, <laughs> you don't. Post a comment if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no, oh, so no. Excited. Editor, <laughs> editor, cut this out. Nothing's happening. Yeah. This does not need to be in the video. Editor, do you, <laughs> you just editor, put in the... Do you want me to play Edric? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> leave, no. a, leave a comment on the video. <laughs> okay. I can't play you, Smoldering Crater. Oh, sad times. Oh, you can't even cycle um, I, it, can I agree you? with you, Tomo. It's why I'm not so keen on Vance's Blasting Cannons over the other options. Well, um, Seth. Tomer. Oh my god, you're going to just be able to block this day of subclamity. Uh, are you naming me? I assume not. Yes. Uh, Who else would I name? I thought we were friends. Aren't, oh, that's a dangerous sentence. I know. <laughs> So now people get treasure for attacking me. That's a, that's not nice. Well, is it for each creature or just once? Just once, I think. Hey, new card. As I said, that, that solves oh. my mana issue. Oh, Legion War Boss seems good with Pandemonium. <laughs> a lot of cards seem very good with Pandemonium. Um, so. Oh, wow, this is just the fanciest thing in the world. What is going on here? Uh, I'm going to kill the Mirror. Oh, come on! <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> well, I'm, just, I'm just spreading the love. It just seems like if such can... a waste of resources as well as I go down if to you one mana. get all these out of the way, that'd be nice. Yeah, I'm, just kill I'm, all my mirror. Let me die. Come I'm, on, I'm, let's die I'm so I can sit around watching this play. trying to be aggressive here, okay? Oh, never mind. I forgot that Tomer's the worst. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're, you're aggressive, line is aggressive. Otherwise, you'd fire them at people's faces. Your so line is to... Uh, Hinder me more so than this deuce already is. I'm not attacking you, Vince. Are you attacking me? Oh my me? god. Are you attacking oh, me, Tomer? No, I, need so get Come on, I need to get a Come on, I need to get my I need to get my my token. Uh, oh man, I love I love Nothing Magic personal. The I was really yes, hoping man. to get more value out of this, but <laughs> Is that a blocker? What? It's a shot. What? No. That comes oh, along with a shot. gut shot. <laughs> Oh, I don't. I don't have to attack you, Seth. I was kidding. I mean, it's too late for this. <laughs> I was kidding, Seth. Oh, no! Too late. Too late. Get Not out of here, Legion Warboss. War Buzz. Oh, Seth. Everyone else is pandemonium. Now I have to attack you. You were attacking me anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's let's true. Not, I let's not go there. Oh, <laughs> Warboss, you were so. You're such a good limited all star. All right, now I well. now I have to kill you to get rid of that curse. No, you don't. 
I gotta kill Finns to get rid of Norin. <laughs> you to get rid of. So I guess it's me and you, Tom. <laughs> cool. Everyone fun. else I'm gonna be die. dead by my next turn. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, that's bizarre that I'm not on anyone's team as usual. That's unusual. <laughs> hey, Vince, we're kind of on a team a little bit. I haven't... Well... You, you just... You literally just <laughs> oh, destroyed my mana dork and opened me up to losing another land. We couldn't yeah. be on... We couldn't be further from being on the same team I, if you tried, Toma. Vince has I a mean, I gotta say, if there's anyone who... I'm a little okay with having zero lands in a commander game. It's probably Mr. Cataclysm over there. Wow. <laughs> You started this. You started the season <laughs> season five or six, whatever season we're in. Episode one, Field of Ruin Vince. Pretend you haven't got a swamp, even though you have one in hand. You started all of this. You created this monster. Was... You are Dr. Frankenstein. I am that sort of creature that learns to read and love, but no one wants to love him back. No one I'm wants just... to give me a chance. I'm just sad because I can't play this Dominus of Fealty next turn because it's just wrong to do so. Dominus of Fealty? Yeah, it's another five-color hybrid card. Wee! Oh, my God. Oh, you get to flip yeah! the glass and cannons. Is that fun? The cannons flip. Do you even and now you have a way to kill? Flash and now you have a way to kill Norrin. So you can now kill Norrin for no apparent reason. To flip, but too but, late. But the cannons... That's right, you can. The flip, cannons can, can kill, kill Norrin. Oh, that does kill Norrin, you're right. I mean, it's it's no. not... Because I'm so far out of the game, it's not necessarily the objectively best thing to do, but it is you, Toma, so you might as well do it. <laughs> Uh, Tomer's yeah. not going to spend all of his lands almost to kill a Norin, I don't think. <laughs> no, um, if that it was, three damage is you are correct. Face. If that if that if that Norin was in play under someone else's board, you are completely correct, Seth. <laughs> well, is is Vince dead? Is that the thing that's happening right now? He's I mean, not if dead. Deal... He just doesn't really. So what happens is I'll, I'll have no mana and I'll get to bolt something every turn until I am dead, which will be another turn from now. But I, I, but I might sound like I'm trying to convince you because you know it is in my best interest for my things to survive. So just just shoot my mirror and be done with it, Tomer. Come on. <laughs> okay. Well, you we put it that way. <laughs> but I think Tomer is actually winning here. Where, oh, where's yeah. all of the artifact destruction? Of course he is. I don't know. It's mono red week. I figured every. I was nervous about playing artifacts this week because I figured everyone would just have tons of artifact destruction. I'm, I'm packing I'm, with I'm at least really... five artifact removal spells. I've got Shattering Spree. Yeah. I've got a uh, Braid. I've got Chaos Warp. What else have I got? Uh, oh wow! I just have Ingot Shure, and I think I almost cut it from the deck. <laughs> Actually, I, I might be down to three direct artifact removal spells. <laughs> if I cut some. I have I have three. One I could tutor for. Uh, Vandal oh, there's, there's, I have Vandal Blast, I have Goblin there's loads Trash of Master, there's, which I can tutor There's Trash for. Master, there's Tuk Tuk. Oh, I don't have Tuk Tuk. Tuk-tuk but I think there's like an Dental ally Dental one. There's like a, a Goblin ally that you can do it. Isn't Tuk Tuk an ally? That might be Tuk Tuk. Oh, wow. I think... Tuk- I don't think this game lasts another round, hmm. to be honest. Someone's going to be dead. Oh, for sure. I know that I'm at least are dead you ki- before my are next Are you killing turn. anyone this turn, Tom? Oh, can I'm you sure. actually kill people? Eh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I'm gonna make it real difficult for anyone to win. Oh. Besides, I think actually I might be secret friends with Tomer because of how bad this next play is. But it's too much fun not to do. Oh boy! Mm. All right. I like that. What are you considering with your Spitfire Bastion? I fe- have a feeling there's a wheel happening, so I'm just gonna play this. No, there's no well, wheel. I can also okay. draw a card. I, where did you get the yeah, idea of a wheel from? The way- that did not sound like. <laughs> well. I remember yeah. there was Tom said, I mean, like, if this you damage want to gets dealt or deal four. It damage, sounds like Fires of Zing Yi or something. Oh, it was an incendiary like. command. Never mind. I was a little bit confused. Yeah, it was a bit oh, ago. Well, I, yeah. I need to draw. I wanted to hit a land drop anyway. So um, The correct answer is that Tomer wanted to draw a card. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> Tomer, um, stop hesitating and hit me. Come on. At this point, I don't know if it matters. I think we're all we're all about dead. Just just two more to Seth. <laughs> oh, Tomer. <laughs> Oh you said gosh. it didn't matter. I'm, I'm so sorry, Seth. <laughs> you said it why didn't did matter. Uh, why did you play Legion Loyalist after combat? Is that because you drew it off the banner? Uh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. And we'll find we'll I find just, out when we I see the I am F8, but I still have to put <laughs> the right, pandemonium. Happy, everybody's Somehow happy. Somehow these All right. pandemonium Genesis Chamber malarkey is helping Tomer more than anything else, which is nuts. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. But it doesn't go away unless Vince dies. My deck is a go wide deck. Like so, somehow, Carrie Zev has not died either. You played it on turn two and it's just attacked toughness. every single turn. Well, no, I could have removed it on multiple occasions, but I've had to direct all my ire at Tom as he's blowing up that's the of my lands. <laughs> yeah, that, that's very like, accurate. The way threats, assessments, and answers work gets skewed heavily when someone's blowing up all your lands targeted. Yeah. 
That's the game accurate. changes very, I'm kinda, very drastically. I, I'm kind of expecting another also, one to disappear. When you do this kind of stuff. Oh. <laughs> That's like payoff for... Welcome to, welcome to Chroma. Yikes. Yeah. I mean devotion. That's nine damage. To each, each nine. opponent. So five to... Or six to everyone. Six to everybody. And then, oh, sorry, ten then. And, and then, then also another four from Pandemonium. Four to someone. That is... That is a spicy meatball. I know. We probably should try to kill Tomer at some point. He's at 30. How are you at 37? Don't worry about On it. On Mono Red Week. Don't everyone worry else about is it. like almost dead. Why are you worrying think... about these little things? <laughs> what What's is... happened is, and this is, this is again, this is more banter than anything just to explain, but Seth, you haven't uh, cast much. I and cast both... a dual caster mage, Vince. <laughs> and, then, and, and, then I, and I killed your ogre, to be fair. And then me and Tomer fired everything at each other. So that's why Tomer's yep, on 100%. That's true. That's Meanwhile, exactly Tomus took the opportunity to beat you up because you're behind. No, but it made a gem token. I needed the ramp. Did you really just say it made a gem <laughs> token? A gold token, whatever. They're both shiny. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know right. why. I love this card so much. I had fun anyways. I got to play a Days of Calamity. I'm in. <laughs> it's just and literally I... one land now. <laughs> I know. This is the best. <laughs> He's still... Pr I are you still going to be able to take out Tom? You might actually yeah, yeah for sure. Tom I'm so land. dead. Well, yeah, I'll be I'm, I'm I'll be, dead person. I'll be more he's mad if someone stopped three me from taking out Tom right now. And then he's taking another three yeah. on Seth's turn, and then he's taking another uh -huh. three on uh, his, his own turn. turn. Yep. Um, oh, I could get strip mine just to to rub <laughs> it in. Well, you might as well. Of <laughs> 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 Field of Ruin doesn't hit basics. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Glacial chasm. What? Uh, Oh no! I kind of need to not die to t Tomer. Oh. No. Oh wow, oh. Seth's gonna win. <laughs> I don't have a. Res I have a strip mine in the deck. Of course, obviously. you have a strip mine. This is Commander Clash. But like, I don't have it in my hand, and this is bad. And you don't have advanced blasting cast and cannons. Oh my goodness! Advanced is advanced blasting cannon is. Oh, oh, it's flipped. Thank goodness. I was gonna say it's probably gonna exile it. Oh. Hmm. Now I'm the kingmaker. That's a red sun zenith. Um, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Leaving me alive makes no sense because Tomer just kills me next turn. So I can kill well, Tom or Vince. Which one of you will help me fight Tomer the most? But, but if you cast a spell, Tom's just going to die anyway? To me? Yeah. Oh. I li Literally just Vince and I are killing each other. You should definitely focus on Tomer at this point. Yeah, I guess. Oh, Seth, we're friends. But the other, is, the other option is, the other option is if you shoot... Like... <laughs> If you shoot Tom for five, I can direct my Norin and mere damage at Toma's board instead. And on my turn, I can do the same thing again. But then hmm. I kill you. Of course you kill me. I'm dead, Toma. There's no way I win from this state. Have you seen my board? My point is, it's probably more efficient for you to kill Tom with one spell to allow me to kill Toma's creatures. Mm. If we're talking about real I mean, kingmaking here. Like, what does your, only thing what does your Red Sun really... kill? Yeah. What do I do? The only thing I would really think about is that is if you want Pandemonium and Genesis Chamber to last until Tomer's turn is your real question. That's true as well. Mm, that's all. But then... And at the same token, you could just cast a creature and probably kill Vince and not have to use Red Sun Zenith for that situation. <sighs> that's also true. I do have a creature. I'm sorry that we're making this decision. How do we do how, this? Who you want to kill? Hmm. I wish I could just kill both of you. That would make it easiest. <laughs> yeah. You gotta love Mono Red uh, Week, boys and girls. Yeah. Oh, Red Sun Zenith is exiled. That's yeah, why you're saying that. If you, okay. if you kill me sense. as well, do you have a way to kill Tom? The Well, not this turn. Oh, uh, yeah, the way to kill Tom is that I just died a Tomer. And even if he doesn't attack me, I mean, I don't think Tomer can let Deus live. No. But, I, but, would, I, would, I would kill Tom if I could. For sure. Yeah. All right. Well, I think my plan... I think this makes the most sense. I think... Actually... I guess you, like... <clears throat> Deus into Heartless Hedetsugo being a good play, too. It really depends. It's also I mean, like it's Heartless of Haste? Chasm into Hedetsugo, sorry. If Seth survives an extra turn, I think the big thing is, Seth, you need to find a way to survive an extra turn, and then you have to resolve something that's going to win you the game. I mean, I mean, mean Heartless is full... If you have a board wipe, Hang on. you're just ha like Heartless is full position. damage anyway, so it's probably as cost-efficient almost as Red Sun Zenith. Are yeah, that's what I was going to say. Heartless of the Tsugo is probably a better call than Red Sun Zenith. Here. Yeah, Red Sun Zenith doesn't do that much damage, and it also doesn't leave your body on the board if it does something. Yeah, so I think what Listen, I have if to you do... Have like a, if you have a life link or anything on that you can the... equip on him the next turn, then you're in a good position. So the, the problem, though, is if I just kill Vince, and then Tom lives... 
his deuce can blow up my glacial chasm. Yeah, that's not uh, happening. I don't it, think I. It he, doesn't even deal damage to your glacial. Yeah, chasm. he can't. Oh. Deal damage to you. Yeah. Just, you know, oh, okay, never mind. Damage. Well, then I think the correct play is play my commander, and kill Vince. Ho- Isn't that always the correct play? <laughs> Probably. And then as, as soon as you play glacial chasm, I need to basically top deck either expedition map or strip mine. Shouldn't you stack that trigger the other way around so you get the mirror? Because if you kill me, I think the mid the, the Genesis Chamber trigger should be exiled. So I could so hmm. yeah. control. Do I? Hmm. You just you just missed out on a one one and one damage Seth. Oh, you're, come on, bad oh, yeah, right. Seth. Poor come sequence on. Seth. Seth. That was poor sequence. Come on, Seth. Seth. That was pretty bad. Somebody put somebody exclamation point punt. If Toma did that, the comment section would not let him live it down. But Seth, it won't get mentioned. It, won't it get will not get mentioned. All damage that we beat all to you, Jesus. I know it's so good with hit it's a goo. It's what Chasm is. is nuts. What? Why does my commander say can't attack? Wait, if, oh, I, my my part of chasm. Chasm. if I kill you right <laughs> now, Tom, I don't get to trigger Gren- use Grinza's ability. That's accurate. That makes me sad. You can also not kill me. I'm fine. No, with that. I need to kill you. I mean, you. I. Okay, that works too. Me and you, Tomer. I don't, Here we go. The next thing I have is Dominus of Fealty, and I can grab the Glacial Chasm and kill Tomer. Seth. Would you? Would you kill Seth if I let you live? Nah. Yeah, for sure. That sounds like oh fun. Oh my god. This is Mono Red Week, oh boys and girls. Oh my god. That's why I should have killed hmm. Tom. Vince, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sorry. Right. You're not sorry. <laughs> but, uh, if you were sorry, you wouldn't have done it in the first sneaky, place. Sneaky I'm turning into Tom. Dad Vince That's a good again. Point as well. This works for me. I'm fine with that. Um, so I'm just going to play. A player is attacked. Oh, I should still attack you then. You can't. Oh, you can. Yeah. But if you attack him, his heartless hit since just kills whatever. Yeah, I know. But I wanna I wanna make a gold token. A gem. Yeah. A gem. A gem. He wants a gem. He wants a treasure. <laughs> truly outrageous. Uh, <laughs> all there this and I die anyway. No, I mean maybe maybe Tom has a way to kill you and kill me. That would be still part of his contract. Well, at, at this point, if I uh if I drew a wrath, it'd be just good for me as well. Yeah. I think I have exactly one left, so we'll find out together. Okay, so Jesus. That's a lot of mana. Is that That's the parallel one or not? No. I wish it was. If it's the parallel one, I could actually bo- do both no, That would be like gauntlets. Gauntlet of Power, Gauntlet of Might. Those are the two. Yeah, both of those affect everyone else, don't they? Uh, I'm just going to pass the turn. 100% on board with the whole Glacial Chasm getting, getting removed and set thing. Uh-huh. Well, you do yeah, realize, yeah. If, if Tom steals it, how do you kill Tom? No, it doesn't, no, doesn't it goes do away. it forever. It's, it's until yeah, it goes away. Turn. And I think uh, I have a much better jo- chance killing Tom than I have to kill Seth because I can't actually do anything to bad that chasm. Well, I just drew an interesting spell that I'm going to keep in my hand and I'm just going to not use F2. Um, uh, Donna's the field is at the beginning of your upkeep for the record. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's long yeah. Than it's a random. <laughs> it's a random. It's so, a random even tide card that no so one much, knows. So much, so much politics. And <laughs> uh, uh, Seth, I would also like a gold, a gold token, please. Oh man, Tomer, you and your curse. Death, why are you it's blocking the gift? Ones? I I'm blocked the mirror gold. last time. Oh, you did. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah, you're not giving me gold, man. Well, Tom, if I get an expedition map or a strip mine, yeah, I know. I shouldn't have cut gamble really from my deck. I really don't like gamble. I kept Gamble. It seemed like the best way to I, find something. I have, like, the worst luck. I've had, like, 20 cards in hand, Gambled, Gambled away the card I wanted. It just makes me mad. Mimic Vax. It's an irrational, it's an irrational choice that I don't like playing Gamble. Oh, Mimic Vax is a sweet card. I know. I it, It's a last minute addition. Because who doesn't love a Mimic Vax? All right, come on. Okay. We have to pay life. Small price to pay. To stay alive, yeah. I'm yeah. fine. I'm fine with two life. All right, what do you exile? It is the question. Wrath? Wrath would be sweet. Mountain. You can't play mountains. Now what? Human love keep counters look cool. Okay. Yeah, use your words. Uh, I guess. <laughs> do we win this turn? No, I don't win this turn. You have to say it. Yeah, let's do this. Batter oh. skull. There we go. That's a big boy. That's a big old boy. It's going to be good next turn. Yeah. Yeah, batter skull. Since apparently is, no one's playing artifact removal for some this reason, is, this is definitely getting uh, dicey. So I, mean, I, I basically like a very need good to heartless Edgar to draw, doesn't it? Chasm into batter skull. 
this is this is definitely a clock. Like if you survive like another turn, you can start tapping Hidetsugu and and, and gaining life. And then, and then I'm basically. It can also it can also attack people and then tap afterwards as well because it's vigilant. Ooh, so, that's true. And listen. with life gain, I can keep my glacial Once chasm the alive. Once one, obviously. Well, you you have to lose the chasm to the attacking as well, but I mean, it yeah, gives you a good finisher, doesn't it? All right, it does. Needs, yeah, I have to get something good now. Come on, land off. Oh, you don't even have your blasting cannons anymore. Well, I mean, I'm step one is definitely I need to kill that Hitsuga, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that before you can do any nonsense. That's smart. I can do nonsense right now. I mean, lifelink nonsense. So oh yeah. That's well. Not. I guess everyone's gonna lose half their life. Round it up. Yay! Doing something. This hurts me a little bit more than it hurts. I mean, Tom's taking a whole two damage here. <laughs> I know. This I'm is... taking. It's rounded up. Oh, it's rounded down. Thank you. Tomer gosh. takes 15. Yikes. Alright. Alright. I'm a Vance's Blasting Cannon away from losing this game. <laughs> Good to know. Well, I'm, I think I'm gonna kill you, Tom. You didn't play the Dominus, and I kind of needed that. Oh, how are you killing me? I have creatures. Oh, that's a good point. I don't have a facial chasm. <laughs> All right, well, I see your point. Um, I'm going to... I just need to deal three to you. So much mana. I don't think I've ever seen Advances Blasting Cannons flipped. Yeah, that's because normally you want to draw cards, not <laughs> Lightning Wolf things. Uh, that is out of character for Tomer. Yeah, I'm very surprised. Tomer... Ooh, Ringleader. Tomer does not ooh, seem like a, a flipper. Has an issue. A flipper. <laughs> But you are, All right. but you are a flipper. You flipped your blasting cannons. All right, let's Vance, see. Advanced flipper. Let's see what what goblin cards I hit. So you're trying to tell me that Tomo doesn't often flip his cannon. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> something like, you, something you, like that. What are you laughing at? Yeah. <laughs> zero. Wow. Zero. I mean, oh, I wow. whiffed, but no, I'm actually whiff. happy to not draw any of those cards. So I kind of feel like this is all right. I mean, it would have been better if you just like drew a Cranko, right? Off of it. Oh yeah, Cranko would have been nice, but not having that is fine. Uh, oh, a tuck tuck for the battle skull would have been beautiful, or similar. Can't attack. Oh right, you can't even attack me even if you wanted to. That is All right, true. I was, I was holding on to this, but I don't need to now. Bedlam creatures can't walk. Ooh. Okay. And now I will go attacking. Hmm. I don't know if I'm in very good shape. My glacial chasm's gonna run out pretty soon. I mean, you could sack it and then attack me for four. <laughs> That's I should have played Crucible. I almost put Crucible in my deck, but I didn't. Ooh, so, what is this? I'm going to play a white red <gasps> No! <laughs> Tom lives! Oh my god. That is that is, <laughs> And that's going to be a hard no on attacking oh, here. Oh, man. Can Tom kill Tomer? Maybe. That's a great question. We're going to find out together. You can already deal six... Uh, 10 on the battlefield, so he probably could kill me. And I also played Bedlam, so I can't block. <laughs> I know! Thanks! No one expects Master Warcraft. Oh, man. Oh, man, I love it so much. Oh, and, wow. And your germ can't attack, right? I can't. All right, this is going to get real interesting. Before I die, I want to show off Hanward Garrison. Ooh. <laughs> but, uh, I, I was not gonna. I was going to not play it because I'm afraid if I, if I get Wrath, I just lose. But... I don't know. I'll have to show like off lost anyway. <laughs> I'm so I'm pretty close sure I'm, I'm to... should be dead. Ah, uh, man, I was really close to killing you here, but I can't. Oh. Which makes you really sad. You could play the Davis, and then we can kill Seth. I don't think that actually does. That actually kill me. It steals glacial chasm, stealing but the, then stealing the chasm means I just attack you and your. But chasm. you can't attack mm-hmm. if you have chasm. Oh wait, that's so. I think it actually oh, no. doesn't also, kill me. You steal it. You steal it next oh, turn no, as well. It didn't so it's work. still there this turn. No, but he has to he has to get it and basically sack it, so you would have to keep it like permanently. Oh, that never worked. Yeah, it was Tom. Hope- <laughs> well, I figured I wouldn't mention that until that it showed up. Issue. I don't know if killing you is now the right call. Um, I can't anyway, so there's that. But, I mean, oh. if you keep me around, then I can still Spitfire the hidden The other, the other issue is that I. Well, actually, if you Spitfire the Fanatic Amogus, I can put it under Mimic Bat, and then I can steal the Glacial Chasm, what? and then deal Seth damage. But that also kills me, doesn't it? Yes, probably. Yes, mm. which is a slight issue. <laughs> I, um, but if you keep me alive, I can just Spitfire Bastion the Hidetsugu before he has enough mana to cast it and equip it with the lifelink, and then 
I mean, that that basically is what kills us, right? So, I mean, Same. my glacial Same. chasm only has two more turns, unless I can find something. Oh yeah, that's also a good point. Because hmm. I'm running out of life. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder why Tomer is keeping Tom alive in this case if he's got an answer to Heart of Sedagutsu every single turn anyway. That is true. Mm. I yeah, actually, now, Tom. The other you option do, you do, you. is I can just get rid of Spitfire and Bash every day use a calamity. And just have it be Seth Week. Ooh, sounds fun. I, I like the idea of Seth Week. <laughs> I, I guess. If, if you want a Kingmaker that way, that's fine. Yeah, no, I know. I, I don't really know what the correct answer is. It I really don't know is either. Difficult. I think I, I need, I'm going to be attacking you next turn, Tom, so keep that in mind. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I can't get Massive Warcraft back, yeah. so. Um, I think the answer is just to play as many cool cards as possible in my hand. Yeah. So that's obviously what we're going to do. Try to kill me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to hit you for 10. I won't blow up the Vance's Basting Cannons, though, which shows how much... I mean, it's it's in your interest, I guess. Well, it does <laughs> literally kill me from the land slot. It depends if, if Seth has a board wipe this turn. If he has a board wipe, then I can't kill you. Oh, okay, cool. I'll get rid of the Vance's Cannons, then. <laughs> what? That's Tom, a good Tom, point, Tomer. What? <laughs> what? 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 Okay. What? Oh, no, I, oh, I'm oh. awful at this game. Oh, oh I hate it. Tom and his second I should never problems. use keys again. <laughs> oh. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I just talked to you. I oh. wanted to cast Traitor's Roar, but I stupidly am very used to old MTGO things. Uh, to he what did you forget to I'm the best use? at skipping he my turn. He skipped his second main phase. Yeah, Why? I'm really good at that. Not on purpose. Where does I'm just Traitor's Roar, though? Oh, it was going to put you to two. Oh, that's not good. I know. Well, thank Actually, it was going to put you to two, and then you would have died to Seth on the next turn because he could have just not paid for Glacial Chasm. That's not good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry about that, Seth. Yeah, but then he, he does he want Glacial Chasm though against you? Is the that's thing. a good question all around. A lot of lot of interesting decisions, as Ben Stark would say. So many interesting decisions, so that no one can attack, but Seth can't. No one can. Temple of the but False God. Very, uh, very uh, ambitious of you. Uh oh. Seth. A morph? You don't see Is it a chroma? That smells like an achroma. I don't think it... That smells like a fortune thief. pretty bad can't attack. this week, though. Especially protection of white and blue is not very relevant. So what, what did Tom think it was? Uh, fortune thief? Or jeering is Oh, thief. fortune thief would make a lot of sense, because it would save him from dying from Hedetsuku. Yep. Uh... And I can't kill it, thanks. No problem. I guess I Tom. just have to... I guess I just have to pass... Love you, Tomer. I could have a... Wow. Like, <laughs> You're kicking up a lot of mana, Seth. Is that is that a bluff, or do you generally have interaction? Uh, I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, we're, we're about I to really find out. I hadn't gotten so excited <laughs> and played Donna's... I really want to cast Grenzo and draw cards, and I can't. <laughs> you, Why you not? Can because still kill if Tom. I kill you, then I don't get to cast your you spells. You get to draw a card with it. I mean, I'm still lost as to why you keep keeping Tom around because it just seems I'm like not. it's less than your chance of winning. And blow up a land. Oh, okay. I thought you were like, I need to keep him around to draw a card, but then lose. All right, let's. Yeah, I'm weirdly arguing against my own life here, but yeah, you should definitely. No, I'm full. <laughs> Jeez. Full out attacking you if, as long as I don't skip right, my combat. Good. Phase. Embrace the mono red in your heart. Attack of all creatures, life and llamas. Uh, that's fair. That's they fair. They can't block, so there's that. Yeah. You get all these extra tokens for no good reason. Oh man, what if he what if he chaos warped your bedlam and then untapped his dudes with some red white spell? Oh yeah, I have then... chaos warp too. I have so many outs of stupid nonsense. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. it's just a glacial chasm. It's a smart call for that deck. Yeah, I didn't even think of glacial it. It works chasm. pretty good with my commander. I don't have it in my hand. This is a lot of damage I can't deal with. Uh, good are game? You, question mark? Are yeah. you dead to Seth? Yeah, I can't. Now, I can't attack though. <laughs> Unless I get you can. Well, you, you can just... just not pay for the glacial chasm, hmm. and then you can attack, and Tomer still can't block. That, These are those are things. those are good points. I wonder what the well yeah. he can cast. Well, yeah, hmm. It's maybe that does still have, have maybe that does work. Other things to do. Uh oh. I was gonna say yeah. Arms None of dealer. these things come. These come oh, up. that's a really good card for this situation. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Yeah, that's not so, ideal. I'm not saying this game is over because it clearly isn't, but that's, that's pretty close. Real strong. Oh man! But all right, so I just leave up all your mana, Tomer. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me come <laughs> over there. <laughs> I'll fly to Canada. Gosh darn it! Well, I want to draw more cards. Uh, I can. I can afford drawing two more cards. Just tap out, or one more card. <laughs> I vote tap out. 
<laughs> because like if I get a strip mine, this nonsense ends. Oh, oh it's a mountain. I mean, this nonsense ends in one turn's time. Yeah, something. As long as that battle doesn't connect, something's gonna happen. Yeah, as long as you don't die next turn to the chasm, you're good. All right. And don't let don't let the battle skull connect, because that changes All the right. maths, doesn't it? We're good. Uh, I, I'm feeling good about this. Uh, uh, you might not be. We're gonna find <laughs> out together. All right, thin the deck a bit. All right, step one. Right. Yep. Fair. Fair. That's basically mono red card draw right there. Like increasing the chance of drawing non lands by zero point zero two percent. And then uh, make a kabold. Right. <laughs> <laughs> An old one that can't attack a block. All I'm right, in. come on. Not good with pandemonium. Vance is blasting cannons. Out. You could do it. Oh, actually, oh, you already exiled Vance on Zeth. I was going to say <laughs> that would have been the perfect thing to draw here. I have. He probably has more have exiles, outs. right? Pariah Shield. Pariah Shield. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! That is a bad thing for Tomer to see. <laughs> uh, but he can kill he all can my stuff. He can still kill whatever he equips it to. Oh yeah, that ain't no thing. I mean, it also costs him eight mana, which is all of his mana as well. <laughs> just just to get the creature killed doesn't seem great. Uh, okay. Right. You all bring up good points. This still sucks for Seth. Hmm. Actually, that's a good draw, though. It's a board wipe. Uh, it could be. We can't see. Hmm, I gotta look at my deck list. I gotta figure out if I cast this first or not. Do we win this turn's half? No, uh, I don't I don't believe so. But I do have a plan. Now Pariah Shield costs so much. Five mana equipment, three mana to attach. Seems a bit high. This is around the beginning of equipment. They didn't really have numbers figured out at that time. Also it was made I mean that's I'm guessing those numbers are for limited. Mm. Okay, so step one, we're going to cast Hoarding Dragon. What's nice for Vince is he doesn't have to keep clicking yes for everything. <laughs> That's the upside of being dead. That is yeah. the upside of being dead. I'm enjoying that part. I guess enjoying is the wrong word, but... I uh, just kill it in response. Yeah, I guess that's a, a legal play. Oh, that's really smart. Hmm... Tomer, I, I didn't. Was your response that's a legal play? <laughs> well, I didn't expect. Okay, I, I'll allow it. I, that is a legal I play. Didn't expect Tomer to do that. <laughs> well, wow, that shade. That one. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't see that, that one play either, and I definitely should have. Um, hey, Tomer did a good play. <laughs> yeah, that was a good play. Oh, don't belittle yourself. You have a lot of good plays, Thanks. Tomer. I mean, Tomer, you're about to win for the third week in a row, so your plays can't be that bad. That's true. Uh, Are you the... Oh, Blast Axe. Well, That's a good try. Let me just make sure this thing, the thing that I can kill. That's true. Yep. That's smart. You can. It was a fortune. It, yeah, it makes It makes a lot of sense in the deck. Uh, I'm so, I'm so killing stuff doesn't cards. matter. Target creature. Yep. Goodbye. Board. Well. well I kind of oh, needed wow. that arms dealer, though. You're going to die to a Cabal to equip with like, a bat skull and a shield. I and know. <laughs> I don't think I could race this. Okay, flip. Oh, wait. Flip, I'm a flipper. Yeah, but... Sometimes you just gotta <laughs> flip it out. Oh, man, I need haste. You can't kill me this turn, even with haste. Oh, you're so... What, what if it's surprising. a uh, avalanche riders that... Oh, up the avalanche castle? riders would... That would, that would exactly do it. And then he casts, what is it, insult to injury or whatever to double the damage and get you. <laughs> All right, what? Well. Avalanche riders off the top. Oh, Let's do man. it. Yeah, I Code of ours. I really want to live in this world. Uh, ended up being an interesting game. I know. Vince is speaking my truth right now. Come on, Tomer. Part of the I know I killed you before, theme. but I support you. Okay. Hey, I'm playing that, that card does too. things next turn. Yep. If you have a... He's going to take an extra turn. Mm. Oh, no. I thought it was going to final glorious end Oh, I guess whatever. I should have started with this. I can still draw a card. Let's get... What's this? Grenzo. Oh... Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I did really screw that up. All right. What did nice you know? Did you draw your strip mine? No, I drew a way to stop your your batter skull. Oh, I don't have a batter skull. Yeah, you do. Well, not active. Is a batter skull sans germ? What does go do again? <sighs> oh, actually, I can still do it. Ha ha ha! ha. Okay, that's great. And your Spitfire Bastion only does three damage, and this is going to be a four-four. Hey, Seth, this is a card near and dear to your heart. Oh, Trash Master! Hey, welcome <laughs> oh, to the trash. Oh, that's actually really bad. Good trash Man. Yeah, that's really good against you right I now. I needed All a right. Pariah Shield, and I flipped let us, my. Hmm. Let us pass the turn. Uh, I knew I wasn't a flipper. I shouldn't have flipped. <laughs> if you get I mean, 
If you get rid of the Cage Sun and the Vanquisher's Banner, then you can kill Trash Master. So if you have Vandal Blast, Vandal Blast Strip is going to get it. He's going to play Dragon's Fodder into Goblin Trash Master. And then you're going to have a trash off where he trashes your stuff, you trash his stuff. Yeah, I think you'd got there, Tomer. Oh. Uh, Huzzah! The trash master yeah, off the top. Well, I drew. Yeah, that was a the good draw. The official MTG Goldfish spoiler card. I drew a big thing, but it can't block. Ooh. I had that in my hand as well. If you had not drawn. Well, I guess I make you play properly. If you hadn't drawn. Artifact Destruction, my prize shield would have actually been pretty good. But you do have it. Yeah, because it basically would have given you a fog for a turn. And then Spitfire Bastion would have uh, taken it down. Wow. wow, yeah, you were a turn away from losing So it. close. Oh, very close. If Itali had haste, yeah. that would have been it. Yup. That would have been it. This was a really interesting game. Good game, good game. Good game. Good game, everybody. What did I get off your thing? Mountain, oh. I think. Uh, boo. Boo, non-lands. <laughs> boo. <laughs> it is a mountain, All right, yeah. attack. I have Coat of Arms Italian, Ruby Medallion. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, you had... Man, I can't believe there was not a single artifact destruction spell. Hello, Trace. There's one with the ball right now. Oh, yeah, I guess the goblin kind of counts. A as usual, you, you've, been, you've been asking for all, all games. This, all the removal, apparently. <laughs> I'm the one who has yeah. to police it the board. It is the funniest thing. It's like, hello, welcome to Mono Red Week, where no one casts any <laughs> artifact removal. Yeah. Uh, Trash Master, though, very good card in the Goblin Tribal deck. Like, not only is it a uh, a, a Lord effect, it's overcosted by, like, one. You know, Lords are usually three. This is four. But just the fact that you can sacrifice a Goblin, which are so plentiful in the Goblin Tribal deck, just, like, you have so many token makers that make one ones as like an app, as part of its spell, like Whirling Outburst or, or Dragon Fodder or just like Beetleback Chief and stuff like that, or even Krenko. Uh, being able to just sacrifice it to destroy an artifact, it's like, that's so huge. It's so huge. So really happy to see that um, introduced in M19 and uh, did some serious work. So as for my deck as a whole, like, I really like goblins because they offer everything to in mono red that like you need um it offers card advantage with stuff like uh vanquisher's banner i also had uh herald's horn oh, both of those are keyed off like whenever you um whenever you have lots of goblins like once a, one of a tribe in your deck you get more and more value off them and you get to draw lots of cards so that's always really good um trash master gets rid of vandal blasts you have two haste anthems um, two of the lords give haste, so that's another thing that the goblin deck needs. Um, some of them give um, some like menace. Some of them give other sorts of invasion, like mountain walk. So just just sticking to a goblin tribe starts giving you all these things that like normal red decks might have to struggle with. They'll have to like you know get wheels, or they'll have to find other ways to to ramp and 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 generate card draw and stuff like that. And, and just sticking to goblins is like a cheap way of getting access to all those things, which just makes me really, really excited to play with the the goblins. And I liked it. It was a, it's a fun tribe. Uh, there was no infinites and there was no um, meta calls or anything, but the deck is just powerful. Goblins sticking to the goblin tribe gives you a, a whole bunch of uh, sweet utility and, and win conditions and everything. So it was fun. I liked it. It was fun. Um, but speaking of Vince, we got to see your deck perform very well to the point where the entire table seemed to turn against you except for me Vince I didn't attack you much <laughs> it, uh, yeah I mean actually no it wasn't the whole table it ter uh, um, Seth did nothing it was actually uh, Seth Tom and yourself yeah well to be fair Seth didn't do much <laughs> I did nothing I'm the good guy <laughs> <laughs> No, um, yeah, so any chance I had to defend against Tom's Onslaught was hindered by yourself. So, yeah, I got the table against me again. Um, I played some Synergistic Permanence, mm. which I shouldn't have played, I guess. Um, I should have played a different Commander. I probably would have lasted longer. Um, <laughs> I played some yeah, Synergistic well, Permanence, which I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, Vince. That was, that was good. It's, I mean, it's true. I'm not laughing at you it by any great. stretch. No, no, no. It's no, a funny no, way no, of describing no. it. It was, it was interesting. Basically, like, does anybody have any yeah. enchantment hate to 
to get rid of the pandemonium, which is clearly too. I good mean, right the pandemonium. No. The pandemonium was great for everyone else as well. In all fairness, like it, it killed me and allowed you to disable me, so Tom could block my lands. It was and great so for so me. I, I I must say, as a go wide deck, as a fellow go wide deck. It was wonderful for my deck as well, which is... Which is interesting that you decided to then kill me instead of keeping it around, and then kept Tom around instead. Because having the Pandemonium around probably meant you killed those two quicker. But, well, the, I mean, first assessment's difficult when there's like that sort of thing on the table, and politics is a thing as well. Well, I didn't know that I didn't know that uh, Tom had Master Warcraft. I had Ben Lamb in my hand. And I mean, I, I, I think, I think on three separate occasions Tom played you by not playing the things you wanted him to, or having spells to stop what you wanted to happen. So that was pretty uh, uh, karma and quite, quite good. Um, yeah, I think I just need that to... That is very true. I'm just, I did I'm, very much, yeah. I think I'm just going to play exclusively bad commanders from Legends um, from now on, and that might help. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But the, the deck is really cool. It's probably quite high level. It's similar to being like a Perforce deck in many ways. Mm -hmm. the, the commanders are kind of interchangeable, apart from you change a few cards, because no one is much better with like access to Genesis Chamber from the command zone mm -hmm. than other cards are, for example. Um, I've also seen versions that play things like um, Springleaf Drums and similar stuff. Uh, with Norrin, because you can get some mana out of him as well. Oh, that's um, Yeah, yeah. So the, the, the deck was cool. I was playing a lot of good stuff. I was playing... I had Kiki Cheeky and Zealous in there, because we talked about whether or not we should just not play it. I was never intending to try and put it together, because both the cards are good anyway. Um, I also had Stuffy Doll Blasphemous Act in the deck. And I had um, I had Godo to go get Skull Clamp or Helm of the Host. And Helm of the Host just to copy my token generators as well, because the cards are good. Um, or oh, if it came down to it 1v1 versus you, Tamer, I'd happily combo kill you with those, because obviously I've been on the receiving end of both of those combos. Me, is anybody going to play Kiki Zealous? And I said, no, and then you run it. No, so. no, someone in this chain said, uh, you might as well or something. So it's like, well, I'll put it in then. So, mm. yeah, um, yeah, it's a fun deck. I just uh, came out of the gate swinging and it got me killed out really early. So that's the nature of Mono Red Week, I guess. Fair enough. I, I guess that... If, if you are trying to go under the radar, I would I would take a gander at, at the Richard strategy because I think he, out of anyone, does manages to make Jank work the, the most. He does play yeah, like, definitely, just definitely. like commanders that look bad or he'll pick like bad tribes. But then, there's, there's also an interesting dynamic in the sense that um, people expect uh, me to play like serious c cards that kill people, because obviously I've done that on the, on the Command Clash before, and then people take that to heart and look to kill me. And then, but Richard does the exact same thing, but Richard gets ignored to a bit later as well, I think. Same with Tom, I think. I, I, I seriously thought watching that game that Tom was going to turn it around and win out mm. of nowhere, because he had been ignored, even though he had a, a, a targeted land destruction spell on the board, which normally draws a lot of hate, but apparently Genesis Chamber is much scarier. <laughs> So yeah, I think pandemonium is that's I, the call. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess so. I, I think um, when I try to politicize and like direct, people say in the comments all the time I'm bad at politics. I think I just get ignored when I'm like that card over there is scary, and people are like yeah you're scary and just kill me. So that's just fair enough. That's just that's how threat assessment works, right? I I, I really think that the most successful uh, strategy is to make your board look as weak and innocent as possible. Like people kind of understand the Genesis Chamber pandemonium thing is is scary but yeah, the way that yeah. like somehow richard does it is he'll have an overrun effect and he'll just have garbage cards on the battlefield like absolutely like objectively bad cards on the battlefield but he'll have like just yeah kithkin border yeah, he'll guard have, he'll have like, awful okay, yeah, kithkin, yeah. but yeah, the yeah recent, but remember like i we had a recent game where he had just these garbage kithkin on the battlefield and then he wanted to kill seth so he, like, played Coat of Arms, then he played, like, a whole bunch of d different Anthem effects, and he, like, did 55 damage in one turn. At the beginning of his, at his board, at the beginning of his turn, he had maybe, like, t like 20 damage at most. At most, most 20 damage on the battlefield. But then he plays these cards that I'm sure he has been holding on to for the vast majority of his hand, uh, the game. Uh, he's just not showing it. Let, and I think of that's course. Like the main so I think, key. yeah, I think I, I think um, I shouldn't play onboard engines. I guess is the is the key here. Well, you can play overruns, you can play insurrections, you can play like like in Div I just like play the Dream Halls and one, right? Yeah. That's fine. But I can't. I, you can't play scary permanents because it draws hate. I, I get that. I yeah. get that. Well, the so, big thing I think there's is there's too many scary permanents in this deck. I think. Well, the big thing is because we do play on MTGO. There are a lot of decks that are a lot scarier on MTGO. They are in real life. So 
uh, Norin is a great in real life deck because at the end of someone's turn, you can just be like, eh, I'm just going to deal three damage this way. But on MTGO, you literally see every trigger happen and everything that occurs. And there's no shortcuts. So instead of someone saying like, oh, yeah, just whenever you play a creature, make sure you put a token into play. Yeah. Or, yeah, Pandemonium's in play. Don't forget. Uh, you have to do every single piece and literally making sure everyone does it makes these kind of decks a lot more difficult. Yidris is the same way, uh, the Cascade General, where it's a lot stronger in real life because you just attack somebody and you're like, eh, that's no thing. But on MTGO, you see everything that happens as it's going on. And you're like, Ugh, never mind. This looks really dangerous. There's just different decks that are better on MTGO than they are in uh, yeah, real life and yeah. vice versa as well. Like, this deck I'm playing is probably better on MTGO because it's just random big dudes that you don't see ever. So it's kind of like, oh, I didn't know this card existed. This seems kind of fun. Uh, whereas in real life, it's like, oh, that's an actual 6-6 six, six I should probably kill. Uh, which is interesting. This deck is super fun, by the way. I never actually got to cast my general. But when you do, it starts getting pretty big pretty quickly. And you can actually use its ult because you have uh, uh, ultimate. You can actually use its ability uh, to get the extra mana because you have cards you can cast with it, which is pretty fun. Um, there is a slight, so, uh, Boris Reckoner is a card that was made after Spitemare was made, which mm -hmm. is the original Boris Reckoner, uh, which is another 4-mana 3-3 three, three, when it still damages that much damage any target. So the other slight theme in this deck is a Boris Reckoner Spitemare theme, uh, where you give Boris Reckoner a Spitemare, like a Dark Steel Plate, um, make it indestructible, and then you start casting a lot more Wrath spells. Uh, so I also have my Blasphemous Axe and stuff like that. And then Do you, you have can just Stuffy Doll flaming. as well? Say again? Do you have Stuffy Doll as well? I decided not to go full Stuffy <laughs> Doll. Uh, I really wanted to. There's also a random Goblin that does the same thing. Uh, oh. I just decided to keep a Spite Mare Boris Reckoner at this time. But yeah, it was it was a little slight theme in the deck that you're going to notice when you see the deck list. And overall, it's super fun. Again, I grew up with this uh, with this set a lot of these cards are from uh, in Magic, uh, the Lorwyn block. And uh, it's just a, a whole bunch of fun being able to play these cards again. Uh, they're some of my favorite of all time. And so being able to cast a Deus of Calamity uh, is something I've never really gotten to do I, since I was like young so it's really cool to be able to play these cards again and i was really happy to do so uh so thank you for dealing with five color mono red uh which is a blast <laughs> i was really and... hoping we'd see a furnace of wrath out of seth and then stuffy doll all in your case spike mare or boris record <laughs> would come down which <laughs> quadruples the damage because well, it's doubled oh, the hilarious i was really oh, hoping that would happen but we didn't uh, see it unfortunately i was so close to playing repercussion let me tell you <laughs> Uh, so close. So that would have been the saddest of times for my deck. Spe considering, <laughs> yeah. also actually Vince's deck, considering we we're both like so token heavy, that would have been yeah. You both would hilarious. have died to the incendiary oh, command. Yes. Yeah, but speaking yeah, speaking but of furnace of wrath, I actually didn't have any furnace of wrath. I had cards that did. Whoa, I had cards. You literally said you had them, well, didn't no, you? I thought you I, can double the damage. I had lots of cards that double damage, but I intentionally only included ones that did not work for everyone, so I didn't have a literal Furnace uh. of Wrath. Instead, since it was Mono Red Week, I figured I would harm myself a lot if I was just like, ah, oh, tap out on turn four for Furnace of Wrath. Go ahead, everyone. So instead, I had, like, Gratuitous Violence, which doubles the damage from creatures you control. Uh, insult to Injury is another one. There's, like, a horrible seven man a pirate that's a, a furnace of wrath that does not <laughs> impact you angress marauders yeah so so i had a, i commended you for your for your bravery and now i take it all I, back you're not you're not even like a an equal opportunity uh pain uh, artist you're just here for the self-centered pain the most oh, aggressive Seth. that seth could get you, you actually got to see a lot of what my deck was trying to do though uh the land is super important glacial chasm i also mm. have like platinum angels and platinum imperions as my big protection ways and you saw the uh furnace dragon that can tutor them up so and also like gamble so basically ways to uh protect my life total from my commander and then things like ogre battle driver generator servant uh, anything that would give haste fervor so i could hopefully activate my commander right away so that was the main plan in my deck i also went big with the planeswalkers i figured with mono red week the big challenge or one of them is uh, Red can't deal with enchantments like Pandemonium for example so I had Karn <laughs> Liberated and Ugin the Spirit Dragon and those were like yeah. my dedicated get rid of things that Mono Red isn't good with dealing with also Steel Hellkite was kind of another one it's kind of expensive but it's another way to deal with any non-land permanent so I thought that those are pretty interesting answers if your restriction is being stuck with only Mono Red cards to deal with 
Yeah, on that note, I actually... The, my removal suite was also something that I wanted to take advantage of. I was running a lot of actual... For ramp, I was running a lot of uh, land ramp. So Burnished Heart, Psalm Simeon Lacrim, Wayfarer's Bobble, and Sword of the Animist are all ways to ramp the deck. Also, uh, Curse of Opulence, always to ramp the deck, but not relying on actual artifacts to do so. So I, I ran um, Perilous Vault as one of the ways to wipe the board, including artifacts. And I figured that... Um, I would be less reliant on artifacts than other people. So by wiping the board and also denying any graveyard strategies, if anybody was like playing Felden or something, exiling everything, that could be a, a really effective way. So I, I, I like I like uh, the fact that like even even in non green decks, you can kind of like land ramp a whole bunch and then take advantage of the fact that you're land ramping that you're not exactly relying on on mana rocks like most people do. And like yeah, Ugin and all the sorts they work very well when when you're focusing on on specific colors and you're not like an artifact deck even better if you're the artifact deck but yeah those those seem like really good additions all right so yeah with the decks uh explained and all that um we should say what we're doing next week which is gonna be dungeons and dragons theme everybody so if each of us are picking a class from Dungeons & Dragons, which is a game that is also owned by Wizards of the Coast. Um, and we're picking one of the classical uh, archetypes from it. So like uh, fighter, barbarian, wizard, rogue, cleric, druid, any of those. And we're basically building a deck around one of them as a theme. So we don't necessarily have to play a tribal deck. We You could play, for example, wizard tribal or rogue tribal. <clears throat> Edric. <clears throat> um or you could just <sighs> you could just build something that just evokes Dungeons and Dragons a certain aspect of Dungeons and Dragons. You can even go like dungeon a dungeon theme where your entire deck is a dungeon and like traps and stuff like that. That could be actually pretty sweet. Maybe I'm talking myself into that instead. I don't know. We'll find out next week in Commander Clash. So uh, until then, everybody, see ya. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.